Next up, keywords. So you, you need to you need to know your keywords, right? I've already mentioned that there's around twenty one thousand of them for the window treatment industry. Thirty nine thousand uh, that that tool came up with for awnings. So how do we start finding these different keywords? It's a lot of work to try to know what they are. You can't just guess, right? You could probably guess twenty or thirty of them, uh, but you're not going to guess thirty thousand of them. So a couple different ways that you can go about doing this. One way you can do it is to use the Google Keyword Planner. Uh, this is a free tool from the Google Ads platform. Um, you do not have to be running ads to use this tool. Uh, you can get in there, set, you do have to set up an account, a Google Ads account, but you don't have to actually run any ads to use this tool. So you can get in there, give it some different main level keywords, and it will start spitting out all kinds of other ways that you can uh, mix words together that people are probably looking for for your services. Google Keyword Planner, just go to Google and type in Google Keyword Planner and it'll come up. Answerthepublic.com is another great tool. Uh, this is really cool because you, pl you plug in a, a phrase such as Roman Shades and it will tell you basically what people are asking around Roman Shades. Do they have Roman shades in blue? Do Roman shades extend 20 feet? I don't know, whatever whatever the phrases are. Um, there are all kinds of really cool things that you can find in Answer the Public. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is still a free service uh, that you can use to, to get some really good insights, some great ideas for content, things like that. So answerthepublic.com, another great tool. Google Trends, uh, this is trends.google.com. This is a great tool where you can start to plug in, let's say window treatments like I did here. Now, if we were to plug in two phrases, let's say we put in window treatments and one that we use a lot in the industry, window coverings, and we'll find out that a lot less people are saying window coverings. So that's important. If you're working on your website and being in the industry, you probably say window coverings a lot because that's kind of how we say things. However, consumers are more likely to use window treatments when doing searches on Google. So this is a great tool that you can use to um, find some of those differences and, and see what are the best ways. The really cool thing about Google Trends is you can actually drill this down. So you can see where it says United States over here. You can drop that down and say, show me these two searches only in Texas. Right. And it will actually just give you the data from people doing those searches specifically in that area. So there's some really cool things you can do in here, obviously, compare different keywords, things like that. That's trends.google.com. Now, when it comes to keywords, we've actually that tool that I showed you, I pulled in the top 81 keywords for the window treatment industry and put that on a website that you can grab absolutely free. There's no opt in. You don't have to give me your email, anything like that wtmarketingpros.com slash keywords. You can go there and download that entire list for absolutely nothing. Uh, so grab that link and, uh, and go grab those keywords uh, because that will get you on your way and uh, save you some time on that keyword research as well.